Good morning, Panthers. This is a little different than our traditional setup, but Jason and I are filling in while our normal anchors are off at IB testing. Yes, I hope everyone survived the testing this week. I know I barely have. Anyway, let's get into a few announcements. All right, listen up. To those of you who have your sights set on becoming the next star of PTV, auditions will be held on Wednesday, May 16th, starting at 2.15. You must come by Mr. Grimes' room, which is C20, before May 16th to pick up an application packet. PTV is a fifth period class, so you must not have any conflicts from 2.15 to 3.05 next year. Yes, I highly recommend everyone try out if you're interested. I mean, don't you all want to anchor with Allison and I next year? No, not really. Time for some sports news. Great job to Mountain Biking for taking first place in the SoCal League and bringing home four team awards. Way to kill it this, year, this season. And good luck this weekend at the final race in Northern California. It was an amazing year for tennis. The boys team won the Marmani League Championship for the first time since 1971. An additional shout out to boys volleyball in an amazing year. They too won league and did so with nine Marmani wins. And last but not least, congratulations to these Marmani track champions. Rami Sharif for winning both the 100 and 200 meter, Dustin Gorman who won the triple jump, Nico Young taking the 3200 meter, Nate Garner who won the 1600 meter, and Jack Radwan in discus. And additional congrats to Jillian Kollerick in high jump, Arcana Mohandas in the 3200, Julia Ritchie in shot put, and overall the girls varsity team taking a team title. Congrats to all our athletes. Do you like listening to some smooth jazz? Come watch our NPHS Orchestra's final concert of the year. They'll be performing well-known jazz classics like Pink Panther, City Stars, and many more. They'll also be featuring Jeremy Stein as a saxophone soloist. This jazz concert will take place on June 1st in the pack at 7 p.m. Admission is free for all students. For adults, pre-sale tickets are $5 and tickets are $7 at the door. Tonight is the opening show for Antigone, this year's spring play. Reporter Allison Martinez went out to give us an inside look at this show's production. If you've been in 10th grade English, you've probably Googled Antigone spark notes at one point or another. Your Google results will tell you that Antigone is a Greek play by Sophocles. So, for the past four months, the Newbury Park actors, technicians, everyone in the theater department has been putting on to this beautiful production of Antigone. Hi, my name is Julia Berman and I'm the Assistant Director of Antigone. Typically in theater, we the, we, the directors, me and Mrs. Strange, we block out everything before we even start the rehearsal process. We did this show a little bit differently because we wanted to collaborate with everyone because we have such amazing artists. Me and Miss Strange like sharpened up the edges a little bit, but ultimately like it was a huge collaboration between all of us and a lot of exploring different things that typically isn't done in theater. Antigone picks up in the same place that Oedipus at Colonus leaves off. Oedipus has just passed away in Colonus, and Antigone and her sister decide to return to Thebes with the intention of helping their brothers. But upon their arrival, Antigone learns that both of her brothers are dead. One brother has been given a proper burial, but Creon, Antigone's uncle, who has just inherited the throne, has issued a royal edict banning the burial of the other brother, Polynices. Antigone defies the law, buries her brother, and is caught. When Creon locks her away in prison, chaos ensues, and you will have to come see the rest of the play to find out. Antigone runs May 11th, 12th, 17th, 18th, and 19th. Tickets can be purchased at the door or online through the link on NPHS Theater's Instagram. Definitely try and come out and see the show tonight and bring your friends if you want to see me and a few others wearing a lot of face paint. Also, ask your English teacher if they're giving extra credit for attendance. Now, Panthers, I have a very special announcement for you all today. 2018 marks the first year of the first annual PTV Film Festival. This is an event aimed at promoting the work made by students here at NPHS. We are inviting any and all students to submit a school-appropriate short film to be shown in the Performing Arts Center. The event will be on June 6th at 6 p.m., and we ask that submissions do not exceed 10 minutes in length. All films must be submitted at the latest on June 4th, and all of them must be submitted to my school email, 
which you can find by searching Francis Gress or 121178 on your school Gmail or Google Drive. You'll have to download your video to Google Drive and then share it with one of those two things. And I'll be making signs around campus that will have all of this information. But if you have any questions, feel free to send an email to that same school account or send a message to me on Instagram at frankgress3. That is not all. An exclusive event we hope to receive as many submissions as possible, so feel free to make something regardless of your skill level. With that said, that is all we have for you today, Panthers. We'll see you next week for another episode of PTV.